behind me is the city of Camera. And I'm just hanging out here overlooking the city of Camera. Australia for the past seven or eight days that I've been here and it's rather windy yeah I'm just gonna get a few time lapse going on and yeah I managed to get some cool time lapse and I'm gonna include that in the footage and I got some great b-rolls and some great time lapse overlooking the city of camera here from Mount Isley from Mount Ainsley and I'm so excited, so we're happy. Uh... So I woke up this morning with a huge exclamation point in my head. This huge word popped up in my head and that is anxiety. Yeah, I don't know why. We'll figure it out during the day. See, anxiety could mean different things. It could be, you know, I always get anxiety. Like talking to the camera in public gives me anxiety. Doesn't mean you have anxiety, you shouldn't do what you love doing. And that's kind of the number one issue that we are we are all facing and going through is that we are afraid. See anxiety could mean a lot of different things. Like for example, like you are afraid to record a video or make a vlog in public and people have been watching me vlog on the streets, they have been like <laughs> looking at me like that. But it's alright, you know, at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do and you love what you do, so it doesn't really matter what people say. I mean, it does matter to a certain extent, but not until you are afraid to do what you love to do just because people look at you in a different way or have their own opinion against you. I've made a lot of vlogs in public, but I didn't really upload them because I was afraid. Because I was afraid what people might think of them and because I was also afraid Maybe I was nervous what, whether they are good or not. For some obvious reason, I'm just gonna keep uploading because the more you do it, the better you get. The point that I'm trying to make is that everybody gets nervous or everybody feels some sense of anxiety, be it whether it's your first time in a new place or it's your first job interview or, you know, it could be anything. So I've been out here for a while now, been staring into the great lake behind me and been filming some b-rolls and some time lapse that I'll include in this vlog as well. So I'm moving to a different location now to shoot different time lapse and I've always been a huge fan of time lapse photography or videography and I always make it a point or a must for me to shoot time lapse whenever I'm in somewhere else other than Singapore. So I'm currently walking to the other side of the lake and trying to see what I can capture. I was just passing by and found a goose casually just hanging out in the park in this beautiful windy day.
out around here for a while now and got some amazing time lapse with the iPhone 8 Plus. Amazing, amazing. It's one of the reasons why I love traveling again and again. I like to emphasize to myself, especially because I'm making this video generally for m my own memories. There's a family of ghosts behind me. This is one of the reasons why I love traveling to Australia or anywhere else that has this beautiful place to come and sit and chill out and hang out. It really helps you reset your mindset. It helps you reset your own thinking and it helps you think properly. And there's a lot of stuff on my mind, especially just being around here is it's great. I'm gonna head back now to anxiety. Everybody has anxiety and we all shouldn't let anxiety stop us from doing the things that we love. Because everybody's gonna comment on something, whether it's a good thing or not. The biggest mistake that we can do to ourselves is to let anxiety ruin the things that or stop us from doing the things that we love to do. Just take comments or advices from people with a grain of salt. Just take what's good and just ignore the rest. At least the advice works for me. So I just showered. So I just showered and put on my pajamas and I'm gonna take a walk. I hardly see anybody on the street. It's around it's almost 7 p.m. right now and it's like a lonely street out here in Queen Bian, Canberra. See, whenever I got to a new city or a new place or a new town, I like to take a walk around the neighborhood and see what I have gotten myself into. Like, just observe the people around me. So I'm taking a walk. There's nothing much really around my area. And by the way, this is the place that I'm staying at. I am in no way promoting or recommending this place that I'm staying at. So one thing about me is that I like to travel a lot and Within the past 12 months, I've been to Thailand four times, Australia twice, <laughs> Indonesia twice, Malaysia once, and I'm not sure. Yeah, so I've just been walking here at the park where I'm staying at. Yeah, just been observing and it's getting cold actually. So I really like to travel now that I have a lot of free time. I like to take this opportunity to see the world and be where I want to be and to explore different cultures and to be at different places and to be surrounded by nature. Some people go for trips to find themselves and some people just go there for fun and for me, I'm not sure. It's just about me trying to live life, trying to experience life i guess and from where i came from there's nothing much if i let myself be stagnant and just stay at a particular place i guess then there's nothing for me to explore and experience someday i'm gonna have a lot of commitments coming my way i'm gonna have a lot of responsibilities coming my way now that i have a lot of free time you know I'll, i like to take this opportunity to travel as much as i can because as far as i'm concerned nobody is certain and nobody knows what is going to happen in the future especially me. I don't even know what's going to happen in the future. Maybe I will not get the opportunity to travel again. Maybe I will not get the opportunity to travel as much as I am able to right now. So whenever there's an opportunity for me to travel and see the world, see different places, be at different time zone, I'm definitely going to take it. I'm going to take that opportunity. So I've made the point that whenever I want to travel, I'll rather travel on my own. I will not follow any tours, I'll just backpack and go wherever I want to go. It's more fun that way. I guess I'm going to end the vlog here today. Yeah.